how's it going? Welcome to Burnt River Ranch's YouTube channel. So today we are going to be going over us getting pigs on our homestead for the first time ever. Really exciting. We've had pigs since um, April. We added our first pig in April, our boar pig. And then since then we added five more and we will be adding another one after a little bit, about a month from now. So in total, we're going to have seven pigs this year. We're holding one pig back for butchering for our own family. And then we're keeping two sows and our boar. The rest are for other people. But they've been doing awesome. So we've been doing a lot of uh, pasture rotation. And they've been really enjoying that. Rooting up the weeds and eating the grass. I'm actually quite surprised how much grass they do eat. And they're starting to get friendlier now. So you can go up and pet most of them and they're bucket trained and they're trained to the electric fence. We've been really enjoying our little bush pigs and using them to till up different areas on the ranch. They're doing really great, they're healthy and happy and we love our pigs so far. I'm thinking hopefully next year we'll have our own batches of piglets from our two sows and we won't have to buy any more. It's been really hard actually to find pigs this year and we're quite lucky that we had spoke for some quite a while ago before all of this world went to crap <laughs> because everybody seems to be jumping on the bandwagon of trying to get pigs and feeding their family with their own meat which I think is actually awesome I'm really happy that people are doing that that's great but it's been challenging to get pigs we are getting another pig in a month or two I believe a month because we were supposed to get seven pigs in total and we only ended up getting six. Meaning that one of the people that spoke for a pig is short one. So unfortunately we'll have to butcher that one a little bit later than the rest. So that's kind of unfortunate, but you do what you gotta do. Yeah. Oh, and I guess I should mention, um, for anyone that's wondering, our pigs are all half Berkshire. All of the pigs are crossed with a Hampshire, except for our boar. He's crossed with a Duroc Landris. So we're pretty excited to see what the meat quality is going to be. Berkshires are known for being the Angus of the pork world. They have really good marbling, dark meat, and they will be grass-fed and supplemented with grain. So I'm excited to taste the meat and see what it's going to taste like. I think it's going to be delicious. And also, yeah, I'm excited to see what our boar produces next year with being a Duroc Landris cross with the Berkshire. So that'll be interesting to see what kind of piglets he throws. Either way, I think all of our pigs are going to be excellent meat quality, have great carcasses, and all that good stuff. But anyways, let's get to the video. just set up the electric fence for our new piglet and it's not on yet we can see him kind of pushing on a bit so we have this Gallagher solar powered fencer or perhaps you say Gallagher a different way but that's how I pronounce it anyways having an electric fence is supposed to be really important for when you have eggs because they're pretty hard on fences ever definitely don't want our pig to get out. So this fencer has two modes. The Hopefully he will respect fences and not try to get out. So I'm going to set it to this mode right now. Thank you. 
for tuning in again and I appreciate all of you guys supporting our channel and supporting our other social media outlets. Like and subscribe, give us a thumbs up on our videos, maybe share it with your friends. We would love that. Thanks for following the homestead 